Hello, welcome to Aaron's Collecting and Detecting. I'm just coming at you with another video. Um, today's video, I'm going to be doing the last of that 1600 count box, which is right there in the box on top there. Um, but first, I want to talk about fantasy baseball. And yes, this is a fantasy baseball book. Um, this book is from before the 2018 season. So this is book is basically about two years old. See, it mentions Otani, sleepers, busts, and breakthroughs. And it says the top 10. It's got Aaron Judge, Clayton Kershaw, Jose Altuve. My question to you guys is who, if you were doing a... Uh, a fantasy baseball team, which I'm sure a lot of you are, who would your first pick be? Um, now, if you don't know anything about fantasy baseball, um, basically every category gives you points. Like RBIs gives you points. Win, well, for a pitcher, if you get wins... Um, saves, ERA, um, that type of thing. Personally, um, I would go with I would go with probably someone that could steal your bases and hit for power and that would get you at least 100 runs or 100 RBIs or both. Now, there's not many of those guys out there. But the thing is, um, I would go with either Acuna or Trout. Now, while I think Trout is a very safe bet because he's going to give you probably 40 home runs, um, a 300 average, probably at least 20 steals, and he's pretty much consistently, you know, been the best player in baseball. But Acuna, you really don't know what his ceiling is or if last year was a fluke or if it's the norm or if it's just he's just getting started. Um, so, but I would think that... With either one of those players, you couldn't go wrong. But to me, I would still go with Trout because Trout is more of a safe bet. Although Trout um, does tend to get injured here and there, not usually for long stretches of his uh, a season, but usually for a few games. But I'd still go for Trout personally just to be safe because you know what you're getting with him. Um, but... If you go Acuna and Acuna pans out, he could pay off big dividends. So, um, you know, other players wouldn't be, you know, there are a safe bet or probably. Hold on a minute, guys. My cat's knocked something over. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, yeah, so, I mean, there's there's other players you could go, go with. Um... You know, you could go. I wouldn't go pitcher this early for your if you had the first pick overall. Now, if you're in the the mid to later rounds, maybe go with a a surefire pitcher. Um, you know, going with Scherzer or uh, you know Verlander or Cole. Um, now, I would. I don't know if I'd necessarily go with Cole. I mean, he had great numbers, but he is going to be at Yankee Stadium. And Yankee Stadium, uh, yeah, they get you get high ERAs there. So I don't wouldn't necessarily uh, go with him. Um, Verlander to me, I mean, I, you know, he's my one of my favorite players. So um, Scherzer or him or maybe Degrom, but Degrom's not going to get you many wins. I don't think. I still don't think the 
the Mets will win a lot of games, but I could be wrong. Um, Tatis could probably do that, but I think he's still another year away um, from doing that. Um, for power, obviously, Judge, Stanton, those are good, but they are, you know, they're injury prone, so um, high risk, high reward kind of guys. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, you could go Alonzo. Um, there's a lot of players you could go with. Um, you know, Altuve, he's always a good bet. I know some of you guys are going to say no, but that's just what I personally think. Um, yeah. So my question is to you, if if you guys were to have a fantasy team, um, who would be your first player you'd ch choose, assuming there's nobody else taken off the board? Um, I know probably I'll probably get... I'm going to assume about 60% Trout, about 30% uh, Acuna. All right, I'm going to get into the cards now. Um, 2000 Upper Deck Ionix, and I love this set. It's a beautiful set. Tim Hudson. Let me show you the backs. I like the gloss on this set. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, 2001 Upper Deck Evolution, Tim Hudson. 2004 Upper Deck, Carlos Lee. 2005 um, uh, National Pastime, Lyle Overbay. 2000 Pacific Paramount, Carlos Lee. And that's a silver. 2003 Upper Deck Season Highlights, Rocco Baldelli. 2005 Tops, Rocco Baldelli. Uh, 2002 Upper Deck Piece of History, Darren Erstad. 2003 Tops, Benito Santiago. 2003 opening day, Benito Santiago. 2001 Upper Deck Victory, Pat Burrell. 2002 Upper Deck Vintage, Pat Burrell. And now we get into some rookies from 1990 Bowman, Ray Lankford. 1991 Donruss, Ray Lankford. 1991 Donruss, Jose Offerman. 1988 Donruss, Kevin Elster. 1988 Score, Kevin Elster. 1987 Tops, Dave Magadan. Uh, 1992 Tops, um... I guess the best player on here was Henry Rodriguez, who was pretty good for like two or three seasons there and then faded away. Uh, from 2000 or 1996, uh, Tops, Matt Morris. 2005, Tops, Bobby Livingston, I presume. 2006, Tops, Joey Devine. Uh, 2000 Pacific, Eric Gagne, rookie. Another 2005, Bobby Livingston. Um, 2005, Tops, Pat Mahomes. And a 2003, Upper Deck, Rocco Baldelli. And a few manager cards. Uh, 
1983 tops, Billy Martin. Rest in peace. A 1982 Tony La Russa. I think uh, that was after his first year managing. Oh, no. That was after his third year. My bad. A 1984 Fleer Tony La Russa checklist. A 1986 Tops Tony La Russa. A 1983 uh, Don Russ, Billy Martin. Couple uh, 80s cards, 1984 Ken Griffey. A 1983 Don Russ, Lee May. A 1981 Tops, Lou Pinella. Now to some inserts. Uh, 1999, Upper Deck, Forte of Hitting, Darren Erstad, beautiful card. Let me show you the back of this. Pretty awesome. A 1997, Don Ross Silver, Jeff Kent, a 1997 score, Hobby Reserve, Jeff Kent, a 2007 Goody, Jason Isringhausen, a 2005 Tops Total, Billy Wagner, Silver, A 1999 uh, Upper Deck, a Scott Rowland, it says Pure Excitement over there and then it says Encore over here. I'll show you the back real quick. It's a cool card. A 2006 uh, Upper Deck First Pitch, uh, Tory Hunter Insert, Diamond Stars. A 2003 Fleer Platinum, Guts to Glory Insert. It's back. A... 2003 tops opening day. This is looks like some contest or something. It's a mini, but then it has something you scratch off on the back. I have no idea. Never seen a, that card before, so I don't know what the game would be. These look kind of cool. These are um, from Invincible Pacific Invincible 2000. Um, this card is called Diamond Aces. Billy Wagner. I think that's a really cool card. Then I have a Randy Myers Opeachy from 89. And then a Pat Burrell of those little cards. Then a 2003 Fleer, Pat, or Fleer Patchworks National Pastime Pat Burrell National Pastime Insert. A 1994 Mother's Cookies Tony La Russa. A 1992 uh, Pinnacle Team 2000, John Olerud. 
Those Team 2000 cards are cool. The, the Griffey, I, I like the Griffey one out of there. Big surprise, I know. Um, this is 1993 Upper Deck. Um, I don't, I don't know what these cards are. Um, yeah, I can't remember what these are from, but I know this, this isn't the regular set. I know that for a fact. I just don't know what these are, what that, that set is. <clears throat> uh, 1989, uh, Young Superstar Randy Myers. That's a special set. Um, from 1992, score, uh, 90s impact player, Jim Abbott. Cool card. A a 2000 uh, Pacific Invincible Tim Hudson. One of those Aces cards. Diamond Aces. A 1990 Tops uh, All-Star Game card from Benny Santiago. A little Tops Mini of Benito Santiago from 1989. Here's the back. From 1988 Fleer. Um, from the Superstar set, Benito Santiago. Um, 1988 uh, Kmart Memorable Moments set, Benny Santiago. Uh, 1993, uh, Jimmy Dean, yes, the Jimmy Dean Sausage, kind of neat. Um, now we're going to get into some 2017s, um, some Don, Don Ross Optic, Rick Porcello. Madison Bumgardner, Hugh Darvish, Salvador Perez, Jay Bruce, Yasmani Tomas, Troy Tulowitzki, Robbie Cano, Jose Bautista, another Tulowitzki, Another Tomas, another Salvi, another Jay Bruce, Will Myers. I always have trouble with this name. Ruff, Ruffnid Oder, Odner. I don't know. You guys probably know. And a Kendry's Morales. And then some 2017 Allen Ginter. Um, Jose Peraza, Jackie Bradley Jr., there's the back, kind of typical of Allen and Ginter, um, Edwin Diaz, Corey Dickerson, Ryan Zimmerman, Matt Moore, Joanna Cespedes, uh, Matt Harvey, my boy, Curtis Granderson. At least I got three Granderson cards out of this lot. Drew Pomerantz, Mark Trumbo, Wilson Contreras, uh, Carlos Carrasco, Masahiro Tanaka, Brett Gardner, Fernando Rodney, Stephen Matz, Michael Franco, Zach Britton, 
Daniel Murphy, Elvis Andrus, Gary Sanchez, never even heard of this guy, Ryan Shrimp. Hmm. Don't even know who that is. Nomar Mazzara, Aaron Nola, Manny Machado, Todd Frazier, Gene Segura, Yamani Tomas, Edwin Encarnacion, Albert Almora, and we just have a few cards, so I'm going to finish them off, guys. Get this, get these out of the way so we can go on to something else. Um, now on to some more rookies. Gavin uh, Sechnina. Sechni? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Alex Reyes. Braden Shipley. I'll show you the backs. Typical optic cards. Ramil Tapia. Not to be confused with tapioca pudding. Alex Reyes again. Orlando Arcia. Christian Arroyo. Renato Nunez. Another Alex Reyes. Isn't that three of them? Another Braden Shipley. Um, Joe Musgrove, rookie. Jeff Hoffman, rookie. Robert Gesselman, rookie. That Gavin guy, however you say his last name. And then I got some 2018 Tops Holiday, Gene Segura. Luke Weaver, Brian Dozier, Manny Margo, J.A. Happ, Nomar Mazzara, Sean Newcomb, Jay Bruce, Robbie Ray, Yuena Cespedes, Ian Kinsler, Byron Buxton, Billy Hamilton, Gregory Polanco, Masahiro Tanaka, Todd Frazier, Miguel Sano, Dustin Pedroia, Steve, Stephen Piscotti, Trey Mancini, Luis Severino, Tim Anderson, Hunter Renfro, Kevin Gosman, Travis Shaw, Sean Doolittle, John Lester, Luke Weaver, Domingo Santana, Charlie Blackman, Edwin Encarnacion, Kyle Seeger, Kevin Kiermaier, Bobby Catalano. Do you have that? Do you have that card, Bobby? If not, I'll give it to you. Dallas Keuchel, and a couple rookies, Victor Robles rookie, which is a good one. Tyler O'Neill, not bad. Nick Williams, pretty good. Scott Kingry, pretty good. Dustin Fowler, not bad. And a Brian Anderson rookie. So, overall, I don't think that was a bad lot. Um, definitely a lot of card, cards to go through. Some inserts, um, some rookies. Um, some semi-stars, a few stars, um, some 2017s, uh, a lot of 2019s, a few 2018s, 
Um, so to me, I think I think it was worth twenty bucks. Um, you know, twenty twenty three something I think shipped or something like that. Maybe twenty one something. I don't remember. I think twenty one something actually. Um, so yeah. Um, if you haven't already mentioned what you think of the lot that I uh, that I purchased, um, mention what you think, and uh, also please let me know what your first pick, and if you did fantasy, what your two what your first pick would be. Um, like I said, mine would probably be Mike Trout just to play it safe. Um, I try to I try to play it safe. I try not to take too many risks because I'm not lucky. When I try to take too many risks, it backfires on me. So, all right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I really enjoy comment, commenting to all of you guys. Um, you know, it makes my day. Um, after a monotonous day, it's good to come on here, do a video, and look at all your comments. Um, I still got a few of the contest winners to get out. I apologize. I'm just waiting on trying to get some stamps here. It's taken me a little longer than I want to. So, But you will get your stuff, I promise. Um, yeah, that's about it. Just uh, be safe out there. You guys have a good day at work tomorrow or at home, whichever you're, whatever you're doing. And uh, spend time with your family and friends. And be safe. And... Just do what you love, love what you do, you know, have a passion in life, whether it be cards, coins, metal detecting, um, collecting something else, if it's reading, um, as long as it's positive, then it's good. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Bye.